Good morning, YouTube. Today, we just got to get this guy ready to go to his grandma's, and then we'll be in the studio glazing Minnesota mugs. So we'll see you there. All changed. I'm literally scraping the ice up the inside of my windshield. Why does anybody live here? All right, we're in the studio. Got my coffee. Always tastes better out of a handmade mug. Uh, so we got some glazing to do today. So we're gonna get going on that. I'll show you guys how to do some glazing. So these are my glazes. And uh, in here. And the first thing I gotta do is I gotta mix them up. So I got this fancy drill. So this is my black glaze. And so then I'm gonna start doing some blacks. And this color that I'm gonna do right now will turn out like this. Uh, it's kinda like looks like the northern lights. So I have these tongs to, and I'll just dip that in there. And I like to usually have a sponge so that I can wipe. See how where we waxed it on the Minnesota and on the bottom, the clay just comes right off. So let's do that. And then I will set this down. And then I'll do the next one. All right, so we got about half of these Minnesota mugs that have the first glaze on them. And typically, I like to have at least three layers of glazes that are combined, because I just feel like it gives it the depth um, and the interesting colors that I really like. So you see there's a ton of different colors going on in there. So now we're going to put the second layer of green. So right now this is black, and it'll turn into like this black. And so we're going to uh, go into the next layer. Which will just be a layer of this green on the top. So we got two, two glazes on these guys, and we're going to do the final one on top. So I got to mix this guy. And having the right consistency is super important on these. Otherwise, if it's too thick and there's too much glaze on the top, I'll just run right off and uh, ruin the bottom, ruin the kiln shelves, ruin the pot. Uh, but I know from the last firing that we're in a pretty good position. So that's the third one. So I'm glazing, and I'm going to do a little sneak preview of how I make these coasters. I'm going to do a whole video of it, but I'll just give you a little sneak peek since uh, I'm going to sneak some of these in the same kiln. Been 
working on this glaze kiln for at least two and a half hours, maybe a little more, but it's finally full and totally ready to go. All I gotta do is just press start. And this thing will be done. And well, the next video will be about us unloading this kiln, which is the best part.